Let's go to men's lacrosse analyst Riley Kennedy to break down this promising start to the season. Riley? Joshua, UNC outscored Johns Hopkins 8-1 in the second half and defeated the Blue Jays on Homewood Field, which is a hard feat to do. Let's take a look at two plays that stood out for me from Tuesday night. The first one is unselfish offense with the two-man game behind. Right now, you're going to see Antonio DeMarco running in from the box. What are you going to hear from the sideline? You're going to hear a bingo, bingo, bingo. What does that mean? There's a guy hot coming out of the box. Antonio DeMarco's job is just to move the defense. That first dodge in the offensive set is just to see if guys will slide. Antonio DeMarco is going to do a little split down down the left alley. And he's going to get this guy to slide right here, right? That's perfect. Now he's going to set up that two-man game behind with McGovern. McGovern's a grad soon out of Bryant, and Johns Hopkins did their homework, right? Because they know he's a lefty attackman. DeMarco's going to set this pick, and both of these Johns Hopkins guys are going to bite left, right? Because they think he's left. He's going to split them, get top side, and finish right-handed, right? That's just beautiful high Q lacrosse. But this is Antonio DeMarco's goal. Why? Because he moved the defense, and he's getting the defense not adjusted. He's going to set this pick. McGovern's going to slip it, split right-handed, and finish top side on the goalie. Now, my next one is killing the man up opportunity, which transitions to good offense. What does that mean? Johns Hopkins is up six, six on four in a man up opportunity. Carolina's going to show a box, right? And then when this guy up top catches it, they're going to pinch to a diamond. Simple box to diamond. This guy is so valuable on offense. Why? If he has the stick in his right hand on this side, it's a quick stick, right? If his stick's in his left hand on this side, it's just simple quick stick. This guy has to be active in the middle for Johns Hopkins to be successful, right? They're just going to run a little wheel, and the hardest thing to guard for a defender is if the offense is just constantly moving, right? You're going to get guys cutting, and they're going to run a wheel on this side. Johns Hopkins, you're going to see it. He's going to be open, ready? But the stick is not in his left hand. It's in his right hand. He's going to miss it. There is a Hopkins guy in the back door, right? He's on the doorstep, but he can't finish on Krieg. Tyler Schwartz is going to get pushed in the back, and then UNC is going to switch their personnel, right? Get our pulls off, get our offensive guys. Again, what's that saying that I said? You're going to see the replay up there. It's bingo, bingo, bingo. What does that mean? DeMarco's going to come in from the box. They're just late subbing here. They're going to get their offensive personnel. What is his job, right? Like I said, just move the defense. Now he's got a shorty, right? This is an offensive player's, like, dream. Now, for a short stick defensive midfielder, if you're getting inverted behind by a midi, this is a nightmare. If you're this attackman, what are you going to do? You can mirror DeMarco, right? But just get out of his way, right? If you're going to mirror him, just go where he goes. Just get out of his way. DeMarco sees it. He's just going to take him one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to beat him top side and finish right. That slides late, and he gets the boys buzzing on the sidelines. UNC played high IQ lacrosse at Homewood Field. Let's see if the heels can translate that momentum come Sunday, Josh. Riley, that's some high IQ analysis right there. Why do you think UNC has connected so well this season? Josh, I'll tell you what, having basically a brand new offense from last season and having opportunities for players to come off the bench and make noise is crucial to a team's success. This is what's needed to take UNC to the next level.